Hey again, this is Unit 6 Review. This is our seventh and final basic construction, and this is constructing a parallel to a given line through a point that's not on that line. And our first step is going to be to construct a transversal that goes through point P and through our line. And we purposefully don't want this to be a right angle. We don't want this to be any specific case, just in general. Once we draw the transversal, we're going to construct uh, an arc here at the point where they intersect. Oops, a little slip of the compass. And where that uh, angle is, I want to copy this angle and place it so that the new angle's vertex will be at P. Um, now to do that, I'm going to take my compass. I did not move the compass. And I'm going to strike an arc that cuts through the transversal and is about the same length as the, uh, the arc that I drew in the first place. We're now going to measure the fatness of this arc down below. In fact, there's the fatness of that angle, and we're going to strike an arc to show that we measured the fatness. And then we're going to also come up here and uh, transfer the fatness up here. Now, oftentimes it's smart, instead of measuring the fatness like I did, always put the compass point on the transversal. That way you don't forget that it's got to be on the transversal up here also. All right, so it's another way to do it. Lastly, where these intersect, we're going to draw the line that is parallel to the given line. through those two points. The justification for this uh, is that if two lines are cut by a transversal so that the corresponding angles are equal to each other, then the lines are parallel. Now we know the corresponding angles are equal to each other because we constructed an angle that was congruent to the given angle, which was construction number two earlier in the review. Thanks for watching.